With Valentine's Day around the corner, are you looking for a sweetheart? Well, forget those dating sites because we're about to hear of a way to find love, get a workout in, and help support people with disabilities in our community. All at the same time. Wendy Johnson has all the details about the ninth annual Cupid's Chase 5K. When we were just talking about, I can't believe it's already been a year. Yeah, it. The last year flew by so fast. Yeah. It feels like I was just here a few months ago. And so we're gearing up again. Uh, and I do know that Community Options is the one that always puts this on for us. Tell me a little bit about Community Options first. Um, Community Options is a national nonprofit organization. Um, right now we operate in 10 states and 41 cities. Um, this is gonna be our ninth year putting on the Cupid's Chase 5K. Here in Tucson, we actually do a 5K and 10K. Um, and all the money that we raise goes to support people with developmental disabilities. So Community Options provides um, housing and employment services for people with developmental disabilities. Um, we do respite, attendant care, and then with our employment program, we're also able to help people um, find jobs in the community. And you were actually able to open up something pretty impressive recently. I was. Um, we actually just purchased a four bedroom home here in Tucson and it's a beautiful house. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to uh, invite people over and give everybody a tour of the house. It's, it's beautifully furnished and it's actually going to be providing residential placement for four individuals here in Tucson. Um, with developmental disabilities, so. So awesome, and it's all thanks to people that come out to these type, types of events, and you guys can take that money and do something pretty awesome with right. it. Now, I did say that, of course, we're gonna get a little bit of exercise. It's a five or a 10K. Right. Uh, we do know where the money goes. It's gonna be helping those in our community, but I also did mention something about finding love. Kind of tell me that portion of the race. So the whole theme of Cupid's Chase is kind of, um, it has sort of a match theme. Yeah. So um, everybody gets a shirt and it'll either say available or unavailable on the back depending on your relationship status. And we have people come out that are looking for love um, with their unavailable shirts on and they go and um, you know some people meet up and are able to date after the event. You know grab lunch after the run. <laughs> I are. think this is such a cute idea. I think, you know, there's so many different ways that you can meet someone, but you know what, at least you both, you know that both of you like to get out into, out into the community. You both like to do 5Ks. You both like to help others. You're already halfway to what you need to know about someone. Right, <laughs> and it's for a really good cause. And we also, um, we invite anybody to come out, yeah. walkers, runners, strollers. Um, we have people in wheelchairs that participate. We have people who um, push their kids in strollers, whatever it takes to get people out and have a good time. Just having a good time. Now, we're talking about the, the available, unavailable shirts and, and all of the stuff that they need for the race. When and where can they pick them up? Um, we have our packet pickup at Fleet Feet on Oracle Road. It's going to be the day before the event, so okay. February 10th, and it's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if somebody hasn't registered yet, they can still register? They can still register. Um, our registration will close at 10 p.m on February 10th. Okay. Um, and then um, that's for online registration. And if they still want to register after that, we do same day registration. It's $40 the day of the event. So of course, uh, if that day you're looking for something to do and you maybe you're looking for some love, uh, this is a great way to do it. And you know all of that money is going to such a great cause. Right. And I know uh, you guys do even stuff beyond the Cupid's Chase. Can we kind of keep up with what your mission is and how we can help you throughout the year? Sure. And of course, I'm assuming yep. online is the best way to do that. Yeah, um, it, we have a website. It's www.comop.org. Yep. And then if you want to register online for Cupid's Chase, you can go to cupidschase.org and do that as well. That makes it easy. Wendy, thank you so much for coming <laughs> in. You. I love this shirt idea. The Cupid's Chase 5K will take place February 11th at the Oro Valley Marketplace. For more details, call 306-1375 or visit cupidschase.org.